Mr. Kelly, could you show us on record now, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Today being September the 12th, 2024, we are hearing case number MI2024-005290, for 3400 Reservoir Drive. Uh, Jacob, good morning and uh, welcome to the Plumbing Advisory Board. Could you state your name and title for the court reporter, please? Uh, yeah, I'm Jacob Alisi. I'm a project coordinator with Capital Projects. Okay. Um, is it all right to call you Jacob? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. So, Jacob, we, I'd like to explain a little bit about how we're going to conduct our proceeding today. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to give you um, all the time you need to explain the nature of your request, the reason for your request. When you have completed that, one at a time, the board members may or may not ask you uh, follow-up questions or cross-examinations or things of that nature. When that is completed, we will allow you time, if necessary, for you to provide any final comments. And then when that is complete, we will put you back in a waiting room and the board will um, deliberate offline. When that has been completed, the board will come back. We will go back on record and commence to um, to vote on your request. Do you understand that procedure for today? Do you have any questions on the procedure? Uh, no, that sounds good. Okay. Um, would you, um, Jacob, would you raise your right hand and I'll... You're, you're not your video is not on so we'll take your word for it uh do you swear and affirm that the testimony that you are about to give will be the truth so help you god uh yes absolutely thank you thank you board members prior to today has any board member discussed any information in whole or in part with the appellate or anyone directly or indirectly involved with the case? Mike Bellotta? No. Mike Ingram? No. Thank you. Patrick McDonald? No. David Hoffmeister? No. Brian Gilbert? No. Sarah Poindexter? Sarah? No, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I did, we didn't hear you. Uh, and outside of department staff, the chair has had no communications. All right, Mr. Ella or uh, Jacob. Um, with that, the floor is yours, sir. And please take as much time as you need and explain to us your um, reason for your appeal request. Um. All right. Sure. So we're in the process of constructing a. Um, a, a barn, a stable to hold horses for a, an urban riding club out in uh, uh, Fairmount Park. Um, and there are two sort of ancillary uh, structures. One is a tool shed and the other one is an office shed. Um, they're both just prefab, something that you just like get from Home Depot. Um, just wood, wood framing and uh, uh, plastic siding, but um, because they technically are using it, going to plan to use it as a sort of office space, um, Cove requires us to provide them restrooms. Um, we we would like to provide them restrooms uh, in the form of a, uh, a a restroom trailer that can just like sit uh, adjacent to the the shed and. Um, use that way instead of having to build actual plumbing and something and it, it's so far off the street that it, it would be impossible so that, that that's kind of the gist of it we just need um a variance for the approval of a to use a restroom trailer instead of having to build actual restrooms inside this shed Okay. All right. Um, does that conclude your presentation? Uh, yeah, that, 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 sh it, that should be it. It's, it's straightforward. 
Okay. We we've submitted um, plans showing the location of the shed and and the restroom trailer and product data for the restroom trailer. Um, it's it's men's rooms, women's room, and an ADA stall. It's going to be serviced by the riding club. Um, so yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Um, you know, we did get your um, submission for your drawings and the um, the rest proposed restroom trailer. Thank you for sending that to staff. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right, then with that, um, we will start some questioning. Um, and then we'll start with me and then I'll go through the board. Um, you mentioned that it's far away from the street and the connection. It's impossible to get a connection there. How are you proposing to get water to the trailer? The water has a, a tank and they're going to dig a well um, sort of behind the barn. And then the, uh, the, the well will feed a tank that we're going to have and then water will uh, be hooked up with a, like a gardening hose to the uh, the trailer. All right. And have you applied for the permit for a well? Yeah, that's correct. We've already gone through. We have a utility uh, plan approval from the water department. Um, 311 already came out to survey for existing connections. We, we, we have all the approvals we need uh, that way. All PWD. All right. And um, how do you intend to um, dispose of the waste from the trailer? Uh, there are, it's, it's the responsibility, it's going to be the responsibility of the riding club. Um, there, we have several companies that we use that we're going to recommend to them that they can, uh, uh, they can get their own sort of agreements with, but it, it'll be serviced by um, a, a septic truck will come onto the site, empty it, and then leave. Okay. And um, in the riding club, how many um, employees do you intend to have there? Uh, I believe it's only... Uh, No, no, no one will be there like sort of permanently. Um, like no one will be working there like day to day. Uh, they'll be using it to house the horses and and to have you know, to take like kids groups there and everything. Um, I don't I have never met more than three members. I know they they work with several um, sort of sort of people with them, but um, no one no one should be there permanently. No. Okay. Um, and so yeah. do you intend for this proposed uh, restroom trailer to service both the employees and the people that are coming to visit the riding club? Yeah, that's that's the intent. Yes. Thanks. Okay. All right. And um, according to well, let me let me redirect another question. How many people per day? Um, in, in the summer months, let's let's say as an example, how many people per day would you anticipating utilizing the facility, including the riding club members and the public coming in um, for riding? Uh, it wouldn't be a like open to the public kind of thing. This would be um, trips and uh, events that are sort of held on site. It should. I don't know if it would even have sort of daily use, but I would imagine like 20 to 30 kids, like about like a classroom size, I guess would, would be the, the most at once on, on, on the site. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Um, so will you be in the riding club itself? Will you be leasing stalls? So can someone uh, can someone rent a stall to um, to to house their horse? Uh, 
No, I think it would be just the horses owned by the riding club. Got it. Got it. Very good. Um, okay. Uh, I, I will let the board go through because I know the board will have some questions. I mean, I do have a, co a you know, a question of concern with the capacity, the, the sanitary capacity of the trailer, which is only um, 300 gallons. But I, I will allow the board to possibly elaborate a little bit further on that. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you. And we will go on. Mike Bellotta, do you have any questions? Uh, no questions for me. Okay. Mike Ingram? Uh, no questions. All right. Thank you. Michelle Brisbane? <clears throat> Michelle Brisbane, do you have any questions? All right, we'll skip over Michelle. No questions. Uh, oh, sorry. Thank you. Bill Dobbins? Uh, yeah. The relationship, I guess, spatially, um, how far away is the Fisher House? Is that part of this property or? Um, no, I don't believe so. It's... Um... You know where the cliff the cliffs are that the the old uh, manor ruin, sort of between, yeah, between Smith yeah playground and and the it's right at the edge I guess near and the the disc golf course and the driving range out in Fairmount Park. Okay, it's back there. Yeah, so I'm seeing that um, your utility plan review discuss the water service. And that there was no water service on this on the site. Um, I guess, and for some reason, my mapping's not coming up. But the Fisher House has a four-inch service connection. That's you're saying that's far away. Yeah, there's Fisher House is not near this this site. Okay, <clears throat> that's all. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Um, Sarah Point Exer. Um, I guess the, this question is either for Bill or the applicant, but what was approved on the PWD utility plan? I, that wasn't part of the submission. The, the plan was for, we needed a utility plan review for our, um, well, for the, all, for the building permits for the three structures going on the site. Mm -hmm. And so usually and the I, utility plan is to review connections in the right of way. And since there are none, I'm just wondering what was actually reviewed and approved with the plan. Well, no, well, to get the permit, we need, we needed the plan review. So we submitted essentially um, one of our old survey plans that stated that we're not doing any, any, uh, any, any digging and any plumbing work on, on site. So like it, it was, it, it was strictly just to get the permit. So the, the building permit was just for the horse stables? It's we needed a permit for all three, all three structures, the shed, the office shed, or the tool shed, the office shed, and the stable. Okay. And so now that you're coming through with the office building permit, that's what's required the Yeah, bathroom. this is the we have okay. yes, that's correct. Okay. So was a utility permit required? Has a utility review been submitted for the office? Uh, for all, yes, for all three. No, I mean for the new building permit. I know that the last three structures it was submitted, but but for this current permit. Um, the way it works, no, no. you need a ahead, one utility plan associated with the site. Yes. Well, but, but if you're adding structures, you don't need to update it? We could refer back to the utility plan and see if that structure was included. And since, uh, the, since these structures so, aren't proposing any infrastructure at all, nothing about the utility plan would have changed. Uh, sorry, I should clear, like, it's three permits, but only the one was denied. And that's why, that's why, that's why we're appear, appealing to the plumbing board. Okay. So we have approvals for two of the three. We need the third. That's... So I guess I'm curious about the well for the potable water. What approvals have been obtained for the well? 
I guess I, I had looked at these and I thought that there was a water connection. So I didn't realize that there was not um, a water connection available. Uh, well, I, I don't, I don't understand what. So I'm looking at the um, approved utility plan. It right. shows an existing well. Yes, yes. And it shows uh, the office shed, barn, and pool shed on there. However, the title of the plan is existing condition survey. So, uh, so you're using an existing well. I thought you had said this was a new well that was being proposed. Sorry. Yeah. There's we're we're going to build a tank to you for to hold water from the well, and that will service the the restroom trailer. I'm sorry. Okay, and does that tank require a permit, Shane? Um, it will be holding potable water for human consumption. Right. Trying to figure out what the permit would be. So we would cover the water distribution line from the well to wherever it was going. Okay, so that will be a permit that will be reviewed by the city. Yeah, I think we'd have to see the details on the like the holding tank, like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, that's what they're going to ask you for, because like what it, that's kind of open ended. Because if the trailer itself had a holding tank within it, like you wouldn't necessarily ask for the specifications on that. But are you building a structure that has a holding tank? Or are you just dropping a uh, food grade plastic container that holds water? Like, you know what I mean, Sarah? I don't. That's kind of like an open ended. Is I'm just a, saying yeah. if someone's showing a structure holding water that's then going to be routed to a sink, I think one of the city no. departments should probably be overseeing well, that. I understand. No, that would be There's... like if he's showing that the well's going to run to a hose bib, right? And then he's connecting all this stuff after the hose bib. I know you're shaking your head. I'm just asking you, you see how this is a confusing project? I'm not shaking my head. I'm I'm listening. Oh, I, I'm... Walt was shaking his head. Oh. <laughs> Section 606, if in case anyone's interested. Can you quote that, Brian? Sorry. Section 606 covers the construction of potable water tanks, the cover size, the potability, the overflow size, the the capacity, the low water cut off. The whole section is the construction of potable water tanks and the requirements. So it is covered by the Philadelphia Plumbing Code. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm not gonna pay attention to that water tank conversation. I'm assuming that that is going to be something that's permitted through the city. Um, so we'll just focus on the sanitary. So, um, so you're saying that there's gonna be, this structure is, are you con considering it a temporary or a permanent bathroom? Um, structure uh the trailer we're considering well you know permanent mostly because it's not it's going to be used by the riding club there on their side um so is there like um how does that work is there like a, a lease or a warranty or like how how do you plan for that to be you know quote unquote basically a permanent structure uh we're the, the we're purchasing it for um the riding club and they'll be maintained by um maintained by them i i don't know if i have the specifics to answer your question it's it's going to, it's going to sit a uh, sit on just like a gravel path um adjacent to the barn and there's three total toilets including one ada yes that's right a men's women's and an ada and how many students did you say would be attending like when when you have the um when you have the training for students um let me let me ask uh, my colleague a quick question she 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 would, might have a an exact number i would say around 20 20 okay. to 30 perhaps i'm just wondering shane if this use does fall under a school category if you have that many students for use? I've been, um, I confirmed that yesterday and apparently this falls underneath equestrian. 
this is what it's unless they were going to build something that was like a classroom it doesn't it doesn't trigger it okay it like falls under the I, I'm not, I don't know how else to word it. I did talk to our engineering unit yesterday and it was explained to me that once you have like an equestrian agricultural use, these additional things that you're doing, probably because they're all outside, aren't going to trigger any other building code requirements. Okay. So I um, I just followed up. Um, they have four lead, uh, sort of leadership people and then 15 members of the riding club. Okay. And then um, I guess just for the maintenance of the horses, like I mean, I'm assuming your your water source is the well. Yes. And then where is that water draining to? Is is there something on site that you're using? Uh, they have where they're going to install like a shower. You know, there's different stalls, uh, you know, that have the horses, and that's where they stay. But then the last one in the row. Is a, is a shower stall and it's going to drain through porous gravel and um, the earth down and down into the uh, into the earth beneath that, from what I understand. Okay. No more questions for me. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Brian Gilbert. Uh, yeah, I have a couple. Uh, you say that the stables here for the, the members' horses, right? Yes. I can assume that the horses live there yeah they'll be they have uh, they'll be staying there they have a whole corral and someone will have to be there daily to feed the horses water the horses take care of the horses am i correct right i guess so there there will be a semi-permanent person there or at least a frequency of several people yeah the, it would be i'm assuming one to be one of the four leadership members Okay. Um, now, as far as the shower part of the stall here, what you plan on using the well water to do that, and you have no plan other than to wash the wastewater to grade. Uh, it, it will it will drain through a porous material in the in in the stall, and then in through a gravel layer, and then down into the the ground. And the horse waste is just going to get washed down with it. No, this is just to wash off the it's the, the horses don't use that not for waste, no. So the the stalls are just cleaned up with even urine cleaned up with shovels. I uh, I'm not sure of the specifics of that of how okay. they Uh so moving on to the well. Do you have is that well currently in use or has it been semi abandoned or fully abandoned for a while? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't, I don't think I've seen it yet, actually. Um, is, is there, just, a, no, I'm guessing you don't have a potability report on the, on the water contents of the well. No. Brian, Brian, if I yes. may, um, I, I would like to clarify yeah. with the yeah. appellate. He previously the testified that it was a new well. Now, it, now it's being discussed. It's an existing well. Can we clarify for the record? Yeah, you new or is it existing? Well, it, it, hello. Yeah, yeah, it was on our survey drawing. Um, I don't know actually. I I have not seen it with my own eyes, but I I'll have to go out there and confirm again. So you don't even know if the well exists. Uh, no, I I guess suppose not. Okay, Brian. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the layout of your trailer. You plan on dragging this trailer putting the the jack down and and that's your that's your setup you're are you putting it on block any kind of semi permanent structure uh, just on wheels and and a jack yes on on gravel yeah okay um again going through your specs how do you plan on plan on cleaning the bathroom facilities i don't see a service sink a laundry tub uh cleaning the uh, it's uh, it, it's the response yeah it's 
it's not really our it's going to be the responsibility of the the riding club oh i i understand that the architect yeah. engineer or whoever you may be i'm sorry i missed that are not going to come and clean the trailer but you have to provide them with a facility to clean the trailer from is, is there i see no service sink i see no mop receptor uh i uh i don't have that i guess no i mean and uh shane if you could just refresh me a little bit here their their use is equestrian or uh animal, animal of, husbandry we're getting a lot yeah. of from from someone um the I'm, I'm, what exact classification under under 403.1 would that be, Shane? Could you give me that? Would it be obviously not assembly, business, or educational? I'm just looking at – I don't see a – I wonder if they have a requirement for a water drinking fountain as well. Um, no. All right. For which – which – the permit in front of you is business. Yes. Someone's going to have to, we're getting a lot of feedback from someone's microphone. Um, if we can all just mute until we're ready to speak. Jacob, I'm I'm assuming it might be coming from, do you have other people in your room with you? He's muted. He just muted. Hmm. All right, Shane, thank you. Go ahead, please. Shane? Hold on. I'm right here. Um, Actually, going through table 403.1, the the only non-requirement for a drinking fountain is under residential, and there's mercantile, which they do not fall under. But there, there also is no category in there for ag agricultural. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So, again, the the permit that's being reviewed right now is business that's your permit does call out for refusal one drinking fountain and this trailer does not provide a drinking fountain that's i just was looking for clarification mm -hmm. okay so we don't know if the well's on site we don't know the quality of the water we have no means or facilities to clean the trailer the bathrooms and we have no drinking fountain, let alone known quality of potable water for it. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Patrick McDonald? Yes. Uh, good morning, Jacob. I, I have a few questions. Um, first, I'd like to redirect the reason why we're here today for your purposes. Um, we, you're, you've applied for an office, for a permit for the office, correct? Yes, that's correct. It's it's just for that building. Yes. OK. OK. So so getting back to the original reason why we're here, um, there are no bathrooms proposed for the office on site other than this trailer. Um, so there was refusal for the office permit, I believe, is what I I've heard from L&I. Um, yes. That being the case, could you explain to the board, to myself and the board, what the office is going to be used for, um, how many people will be in that office, uh, what the purposes are for it. Uh, sure. The riding club needs, um, they needed some, some place to uh, have like, so like the kids could arrive after school and like put their backpacks down in something that's, you know, not the tool shed or the stable. And they also um, needed something to house uh, some of the um, electrical equipment that we have hooking up to the site, like the fuse box for the uh, the lights and the barn and the cameras. Um, I don't, uh, they're asking for furniture and a computer, but I don't believe, I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to provide them that, so. That, that that's about the extent of the use I have 
Okay. So, for it. Thank you. They call it an office and that's what we applied it for. And that's, that's why I'm asking that question. So will the office be staffed on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, probably by one or two people. One or two people to check in the children to yeah, yeah. keep an eye on the site to manage, manage what's going on. Is that, is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. Um, so again, to redirect the reason for this refusal, the reason why you're sitting before us right now, and Shane, please correct me if I'm, I'm wrong about this, is because there is no bathroom facility for that proposed office. Yes, correct. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. And what you're proposing is a uh, permanent structure, I believe being the bathroom facility trailer. Um, it has, from what I've reviewed, a 300 gallon waste tank, 105 gallon um, water tank. Um, were you referring to the tank, the holding tank that you spoke of earlier as that 105 gallon attached water tank or were you referring to another tank that is going to hold a greater quantity of water coming from the proposed well yes that that's correct the the tank on the bathroom trailer is its own tank and then um we're, we're talking about uh, thinking about having a a separate tank um sort of on a concrete pad underneath the stairs in the barn near in in location of the well yeah, near near nearby. Right, what what do you expect to do in the winter time? Uh, I've I I don't can't remember the specifics off the top of my head, but we we we've discussed having um uh with with our with our skilled trades people that we've discussed having it you know all the any any kind of piping being insulated and. I forget what he said, but we, we I, I don't think I can answer the question, but we, we've talked about it. OK, so, Jacob, but I, I just want to be straight up with you. Um, sure. We live in Philadelphia. We have cold weather, freezing temperatures. All water is supposed to be a minimum of uh, a, a, a minimum of depth of burial in our location. I believe what you just said was there is going to be a second tank that's going to hold water in the location of the well and it's going to be sitting on a pad. Yeah, a, con a concrete pad um, underneath the, the stairs on. Yeah, I, I get We're... you. I, I, I yeah, yeah. understand what you're saying. My question to you is, how is that going to be freeze protected in the winter? And will that eliminate the use of uses of a bathroom if the water is frozen solid and can't pass to the trailer, I'm assuming that the trailer has heat. the The bathroom has heat. Is that correct? Yeah, it's it has air conditioning and heat, I believe. Okay, and underneath where the tanks, I'm assuming the tanks are located underneath of the trailer. I see that. I, I, I'm looking at a a picture of the trailer right now. I I don't see where the tanks are, but I'm assuming they're also freeze protected, correct? I mean, I, yeah, the, the tank in the trailer is in the trailer. There's a small, there's a small closet that can. Okay. And what, what I'm, what I'm bringing to your, our attention right now is um, the water that is going to between the well. So if we, we draw a line from the well underground, obviously that's going to be protected freeze wise. And then there's going to be a tank under the stairs on a pad that I want to make sure is adequate for, I don't know, four to six months out of the year uh, that is not going to be frozen. And then the line that is leaving that tank to the trailer, proper burial procedure for it. I, I guess there's there's a lot of there's a lot of up in the air for me right now, especially with what Brian and some of the other members have have just questioned as far as whether there is a well, where it's located, 
the distance between it and the holding tank that you're proposing under the stairs, and then the distance between that yeah, and the, the no, bathrooms. No. Um, okay. Patrick, yes, sir. May I interrupt for one second, please? Yes, sir. Excuse me. I want to clarify uh, for you to continue. I want to clarify that um, there's been previous testimony given that even though I appreciate you clarifying why we're here, but there's been previous testimony that indicated that that restroom trailer will also be used for the folks that are going to be in the barn. So th that I want to clarify that it's not just for the office trailer. Previous testimony indicated it, it's going to be to for 20 to 30 people that are in the barn. That's the first thing I want to clarify. Second thing I want to clarify on the specifications that the appellate provided on page two of four in the third paragraph down, it specifically says this is a three season package. That, I, I just wanted to point that out to you because I know you were you were concerned with freeze protection. Um, so apparently this is saying it's a three three season package. Okay, I did I did miss that. Thank you, Chairman, for for bringing that to my attention. Um, that's also, I believe, there's got to be some type of. I want to make sure that this system is not only permanent, but and and acts towards taking care of all the people that are going to be using it in those three seasons. But in the winter time, it's still going to either need to be drained and blown out or it's going to need to be protected. So I, I, I think there's a lot of variables in here, starting with obviously what Brian was just talking about. Um, is the well existing? Is it is it what, what is the deal with that? Um, and then how it can exist through these three seasons, knowing that we're going to go through a winter every time we go through three seasons. So, um, Jacob, do you, do you the answer to that? Do you, do you have any idea what the operations will be when we get to say I'm guessing the end of October um, for the purposes of the location for not only the, the, the people, but the horses, are they leaving in the winter based on the, what the chairman just said, or are they going to be held there? No, I'm assuming the horses will be, will be held there sort of year round. Okay. So what that tells me then, Mr. Chairman, is that the horses are going to need water. The well is going to need to be, um, the need to be intact. The holding tank for that well, I would assume, would be before it went to the toilet room, it would be used for water for the barn, for the horses, for the cleanup, for the drinking and, and whatnot. Um, is that fair to assume? Yeah, yeah, me, yes. Okay, so so back to my original question. Uh, freeze protection and and how that water is going to interact with with the winter months um, should still be considered in my opinion. Um, okay, so we we've, we've assessed that there is a trailer with a 105 gallon tank. Um, there is going to be another tank at it under the stairs on a pad that's going to be open. Um, and that we don't know whether the well is uh, actually existing or going to be installed. That's that's all correct. Uh, yes. Okay. And that the office will be manned um, by at least a person or two um, on a daily basis. Uh, will that will that office be closed? Um, see, I I I get that the. I get that it says three seasons, but if there's horses being held there, I would have to assume that there's going to be somebody on site that is going to need to be at, at least warm in the office at some point and need to use a bathroom facility on occasion after a, a couple cups of coffee. Um, so I'm, I'm questioning how we're going to be three seasons if the animals are going to be there because animals, in my opinion, have to be taken care of four seasons. So, so I don't know if that needs to be adjusted on your proposal. 
Jacob. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm open. That's the extent of my questions. Um, but I'm open to uh, board uh, uh, interaction on this. Thank you, Patrick. Um, appreciate your your questioning, David Hoffmeister. I have no questions. Shane McNulty. No questions. All right, thank you. I I have I do have one, Jacob, for you. Um, have you explored uh, utility connections at all, either either domestic or sanitary? Have you ex have you explored uh, connections to the public sewer? Um, I don't believe we have. Uh, it 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 just didn't seem feasible. It's it's so far off the street and. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it would, we would, if okay. we've explored it, it would, it would require an additional, an additional bit of funding, I guess, from to, to do those, to do those, uh, do those studies and have get those drawings. Okay. Fair enough. Um, with that said, have you considered a private sewage disposal system? that would um meet the spirit of the code have you have you considered that uh say that again a private a private sewage disposal system uh sort of like a septic tank is that what you well it, it could be it could be a number of different things okay uh, but it is mentioned in the code and you know if there was a private sewage disposal system it would meet the spirit and the intent of the code right okay have uh, so I, I I would just want to put in for the record that hasn't been explored either. No, we have not explored that. Okay. All right. Or all right, fair enough. Um Jacob, do you have any final uh thoughts or anything you'd like to share before we go to deliberate? Um no, I don't I don't think so. I I, I I wish our skilled trades director would be was on the call because he'd be able to answer many of these questions better than I could. That's all. <laughs> I, I guess what's confusing to me is you continued to mention kids. They come in, they drop their backpacks. Right. Uh, I, I I just I have a concern, not only a concern, but a question whether whether this is being proposed under the right use group um i i just I, I just wanted to put that out there I'm, I'm i'm confused and concerned with that as well uh before we go offline does any other board member have anything else to add all right with that um jacob we, you, we're going to put you in a waiting room phil could you please put uh jacob in a waiting room Mr. Kelly, can you show us off record, please? <coughs> Mr. Kelly, could you please show us back on record, please, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, today being September the 12th, 2024, we continue to hear the case MI 2024 005290. Uh, board, what say you? I'm not Jacob, you're going to have to, you got people in your background. You're going to have to, uh, thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a proposal, I, a motion to continue this case based on needing more information. Thank you. Do I have a second? I'll second the motion. Motion on the floor and second in to continue this case based on uh, additional information to be discussed. Mike Bellotta? Approve. Mike Ingram? Approve. Patrick McDonald? Approve. David Hoffmeister? Deny. Brian Gilbert? Deny. Sarah Poindexter? Approve. And the chair votes votes in the affirmative. Um, case number MI2024005290 is hereby continued. 
Um, Jacob, may, can, can we speak to you for a moment? Uh, sure, yes. Okay, so uh, Jacob, we want to let you know that um, the initial reaction to the board was not to continue, it was denied. But we wanted to save you the um, process of having to reapply to the board once you have compiled some additional information. The board would suggest to you that you do um, a further and in-depth um, review of the site. Um, we have we have reason to believe that what you're calling a well may actually be a connected water service. So we would ask you to look at things like that. We would ask you to um, uh, look at things like providing us with how you intend to make the bathroom trail or permanent. Uh, we would like a, a better description of how you intend to get the water, if it is in fact a well, from the well to the um, proposed restroom trailers. Uh, we would like to know how you intend to winterize that for freeze protection. Um, we would also suggest that you might want to do some exploration or a feasibility study of making a sanitary connection or short of a sanitary connection and exploring some um, additional means of sanitary storage, being that a tank or being that a private sewage, sewage disposal system. We would ask you to um, come back to us with some of this refined information so that the board has um, better means of making a decision. Uh, sure. And how, how could I do that? Is that the, um, would just be the next meeting? Yes, that would be the, uh, the October meeting. And, you know, you would, you would um, correspond with staff, either Phil Motto or Deb Richardson or both on um, continuing the case. Okay, that sounds fine. All right, do you have any questions for the board? Um, none for me, no. Do you, under, you, you understand kind of what we're suggesting that we would like to see when you come back to see us? Yes, I understand, yeah. Okay, any board members would like to make uh, a comment or add something to um, what Jacob should be possibly looking for? Mr. Chairman, I, I'd like to make one suggestion to Jacob. Jacob, I, I, I would suggest that maybe um, some additional manpower in the next meeting. Uh, you referred earlier to, I wish somebody had been there, somebody in charge of the construction. I would suggest that maybe you bring a team next time that could possibly answer some of the questions because we're not against you. We're, we're with you, but we have to follow the, the course of the code. So, no, yeah, yeah I, I understand. Yeah. I was supposed to be a greater team on this meeting. I don't know what happened, but. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, thank you, though. Any other board members? All right. Uh, Jacob, again, thank you for your patience. And with that, we will show case number MI20240529 under continuance. Uh, Mr. Kelly, you can show us off record now, please.